Hello, streamers. Are you tired of streaming with your head on a swivel trying to keep up with everything going on in your chat? Sick of giving chat this beautiful side view, trying to read all of those messages and dying all the time with the activity going on in your feed? No worries. I have a quick and easy solution for you. It's time for some magic. What's up, everybody? I am Gokex, the stream whiz. Recently, I've been talking to a lot of people out there who have been looking for a solution for how to monitor their Twitch or YouTube chat on top of their actual gameplay. Nobody wants to end up taking a dirt nap because they were not paying attention due to trying to give a shout out or respond to a message in chat. And looking over at a second display all the time is not really a good solution. So I've got a great little app here from Restream.io or Restream.io, whatever you want to say there that will put your Twitch or your YouTube chat right on top of your game or any full screen application or anything. Uh, so you can monitor all of the most important messages without taking your eyes off of the action. I've been using this now for quite a long time and it's absolutely been wonderful. Haven't had any issues with it. So I'm gonna make this quick and easy for you guys. We're gonna go through how to set up a Restream account, download and install the program, super easy. Get your Twitch account connected, install the overlay, set it all up. All right, are you ready? Let's go. All right, like I said, we are going to make this quick and easy. So head on over to Restream.io and click on Get Started. Sign up for an account. And go ahead and do the necessary verification. All right. And once you are signed up and signed in, you will be placed right into the Restream dashboard. Not a whole lot to do here, which is great because there's not a whole lot we want to do. First things first, go ahead and connect your Twitch account. Go ahead and click on Twitch and that will bring you to this page. If you're already signed into Twitch, this page is a breeze. Just click on the connect Twitch button and you'll see this familiar authorize access to your Twitch account page. If you're not signed into Twitch, it'll just have you sign in. So go ahead and hit the authorize button so that Restream will be able to read your Twitch chat. Go ahead and click on no thanks, I know my thing. If that was successful, you should see your Twitch channel listed. Now Restream has quite a few other features Feel free to poke around and check them out. All we are looking for here though is to get this chat overlay up and running. So go head down into the bottom left corner and click on the circle with the letter of your username. And then right up in here, click on chat app. So right here in the middle, click on the big orange download for Windows button and the download should start automatically. Now you just need to install the program and when that's done, it will launch automatically. I assume you know that process, so go ahead and do that and I'll see you on the other side for configuration, setup, and a few tweaks and adjustments to make it work just right. I hope you're sticking with me so far as this downloads and installs for you. We have just a few quick settings to finish up here, some bots to filter out and get it positioned and looking just right for you for whatever game you're running with, just so you don't miss any of the messages that actually matter. With the app launched, we just need to get logged in and you'll be ready to rock. If this video has been helpful so far, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like down below and subscribe so you don't miss the next one, which is going to be setting up stream settings in OBS. I can't wait for that one. With Restream open, one of the first things you'll notice is that clicking on it does nothing. That's what makes it a perfect chat overlay. The way to interact with it is holding down the left control and the left alt button. So go ahead and do that and click on got it. Go ahead and log in with the account we created previously. And that's it. Once you are logged in, you're actually good to go. There's a few more settings I want to go over, so hang tight. But if you go over to your Twitch chat and send a test message, it should come through now. Let's give it a shot. Hey, there we go. I, I missed a space, but there it is. Test message number two. We're looking good there. Now let's go ahead and go into the settings here. Remember, we have to hold the control and alt to interact with the restream window. Otherwise, as you see, we're clicking through right onto the window behind. So control alt on the left side, and now the settings button becomes active. So when we go into the settings, there's a few different settings we want to check out. 
First is going to be the appearance. Uh, there are a few different ways you can set up your restream window. I like compact mode, which keeps the text nice and in line. If you turn compact mode off, you get the nice big blocks with the icons for the Twitch users. That's pretty cool, but it takes up a lot of space. You can only see a few messages at a time. Compact mode keeps it nice and slim. So viewer count. That'll put it at the bottom here. Show avatars. That only works when compact mode is off. And then color author names. That's based on Twitch chat. Scale is exactly as it says. You can adjust the scale of the messages. Scrolling down, we have always on top and click through mode. These are the two most important settings for an overlay. Leave those on if you want it to work like an overlay. And here you can change what the click through buttons are. Like I said, I've left it as left control, left alt. You could adjust the opacity for both the background and the messages. For the notifications, it does have a desktop pop-up and text to speech. I don't use either. It could actually read the chat messages back to you. So if you really don't want to have any type of need to read the chat, that's in here. And also you can have it just ping you whenever a new message is there. Embed in stream. This is if you want to have an overlay, you know, if you want to have it right in your stream, you could copy and paste this as a web source. The rest of these you don't really need to worry about until we get down to filtering. Common chat bots. I recommend hiding common chat bots. That'll take care of the bots such as Stream Elements, Stream Labs, Nightbot, things like that. It's not really necessary, I think, to see their spam unless you need to know what your bots are saying. Um, also, if you want to hide yourself or other mod sending commands, you can check this box. And also, if you have any custom bots, like I have a, a bot named Kexibot, I can filter that here, and then I won't see that bot. Bam. When we're done in the settings, you can go ahead and just close that out. And now, just one more thing when it comes to the window, since it is click through, if you need to move, adjust, or resize the window, just hold down left control and left alt, and then you can interact with the buttons and the invisible frame. You could actually click to drag and then move the window around. And that's how you'll want to position it. In so let's go ahead and open up the old World of Warcraft here and make sure that Restream looks good there too. Okay, here we are in World of Warcraft, and I actually turned it off compact mode just to get a little better example of how things look. And as you can see, holding down Control and Alt, I could actually drag this around and put it wherever I can fit this on my UI here in WoW. I usually keep it right off to the side for here. Like I said, though, I usually run this in compact mode, which fits itself a little nicer in my WoW UI. So there you go. I've been using this Restream overlay for quite a while now and have found it to be excellent without any problems other than just needing to log in every couple of weeks. Not a big deal at all. If you guys run into any problems or issues, let me know down below or hop on Discord and I'll do my best to help you out. Also, if you know of any other solutions, make sure you share them. Thanks again, everyone. Drop a like down below if this helped you out and subscribe so you get the next dose of magic for your stream next week. Thanks again. See ya.